This is an extract from Field Marshal Lord Slim's uh, book, Defeat into Victory, uh, which is a, his account uh, of the Burma campaign. And this is from the final area of it, called Afterthoughts. One day, as a young officer cadet, I was poring over the principles of war, listed in the old field service regulations. When the Sar Major came upon me, he surveyed me with kindly amusement. Don't bother your head about all them things, me lad, he said. There's only one principle of war, and that's this. Hit the other fella as quick as you can and as hard as you can, where it hurts him most, when he ain't looking. As a recruit, I earned that great man's reproof often enough. Now, as an old soldier, I would hope to receive his commendation. I think I might, for we of the 14th Army held to his principle of war. In these pages, I have written much about the generals and of staff officers, of their problems, difficulties and expedients, their success and their failures. Yet there is one thought that I should like to be the overall and final impression of this book, that the war in Burma was a soldier's war. There comes a moment in every battle against the stubborn enemy when the result hangs in the balance. Then the general, however skillful and far-sighted he may have been, must hand over to his soldiers, to the men in the ranks, and to their regimental officers and leave them to complete what he has begun. The issue then rests with them on their courage, their hardihood, their refusal to be beaten either by the cruel hazards of nature or by the fierce strength of their human enemy. That moment came early and often in the fighting in Burma. Sometimes it came when tired sick men felt alone when it would have been so easy for them to give up. When only will, discipline and faith could steal them to carry on. To the soldiers of many races who in their comradeship of the 14th Army did go on and to the airmen who flew with them and fought over them belongs the true glory of achievement. It was they who turned defeat into victory. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning we will remember them.
When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. <laughs>